Hello, what is up YouTube? Something in animation nodes that I've wanted to cover for a long time is text. It's almost impossible to do any sort of motion graphics without it, and I'm surprised it took me this long to get to it. This is going to be a rather simple video where we will go over a few basic examples to get us familiar with how text works in animation nodes before leaving you with a challenge for next time. In animation nodes, text is pretty simple. Just like objects and vectors, text has its own data type that is represented by a white socket. While it shares the same name as Blender's internal text object, the only thing that is stored in animation node's text element is a string of characters. We can use different text manipulation nodes to chop, randomize, and order these strings of characters before outputting it to a text object. So let's see how this actually works in practice. First, we are going to make a very simple typewriter style effect where each letter will get typed out one at a time. So in the 3D view, go ahead and hit Shift A and add in a text object. We can go ahead and leave this at default because we're going to be changing it with animation nodes later. Next, go ahead and drag up our timeline, and then split this timeline window once more, and hit Shift F3 to go over to animation nodes. Add in a new node tree, and we are going to add in a text input by hitting Shift A, going up to text, and adding in an input node. Now we can enter in whatever we want here, so I'm going to say a few words. There we go. And now this is outputting a white animation nodes text output. Now we need a way to control this text. So I'm going to drag this over, hit shift A, go up to text, and add in a trim text node. Now if I plug this in and hit W on our trim text node and select viewer, we can see the output. Right now it's saying end this string of text after five characters. If I were to change this to one, it would allow one character, two, it would allow two characters, which right now it's just an A and a space, three, three characters, four, four characters, and so on, until the entire phrase is visible. Now, if we wanted to, we could animate this by hitting Control A, adding in a frame, and plugging the frame into the end. Now, if we hit Alt A, we can see that the letters reveal themselves one at a time. However, if we look at this, that's really fast. We might want to slow that down a bit. And thankfully, that's really simple. All we have to do is hit Control A and add in a float math node and change this to divide. Now, whatever number we enter here is going to be the number of frames between each letter. So if I enter five, one letter is going to be added every five frames. I'm going to shorten that down to something like three. There we go. I like that speed a lot better. Now we need a way to somehow output this to our 3D view. So at Shift A, go to Text, and go down to Object Output. I drop our 3D view text object, and then plug Text into the Text Object Output and enable the socket. And now if we hit Alt A, you can see that our letters animate in our 3D view. Next, we are going to create a random text generator. With an empty node tree, we're going to hit Shift A, we're going to go to Text, and we are going to add a random node. And then we are also going to hit Shift A, go to Text, Object Output, I drop our 3D text object, plug the text into the text input, and then enable the socket. And you can see as we change the seed value on the random text node, it is generating a random string of text at the length we tell it to, using the characters in this box. So let's go ahead and animate this. Hit Control A, add in a frame input, add in a math, a float math node, change this to divide, plug the frame into A, set the gap to something like five, and plug the result into the seed. Now if we hit Alt A, every five frames it is giving us a new string of random text that is exactly five characters long. And if we change this to say something like seven, it is giving us a string that is seven characters long. Now you may be looking at this and noticing that it's only lowercase letters. And that is because down here in this random text node, there is a character box, which contains all the characters that I can possibly choose from. And right now it is only lowercase letters. Now we can manually add in uppercase letters if we want to, but that's going to be a big pain because we have to enter them all in by hand. And then we have to enter in numbers if we wanted numbers and special characters if we wanted those too. 
So Animation Nodes provides us with a cool little way to do this all automatically. We can hit Shift A, go to Text, and go to Characters. Now each one of these outputs contains a string with all of the relevant characters. So we have lowercase, we have uppercase, we have digits, we have special characters, we have line breaks, and tabs. So in order to combine these, we're going to add them to a list by hitting Shift A, going to Text, adding a list, and just adding the ones we want. So I want lowercase, I want uppercase, I want digits, and I want special characters. Now we have to merge this all into one text string. And that's really easy by hitting Shift A, going to Text, and adding in Join. And we can just plug the list output into the input. And then from there, into our character input. Now if we hit Alt A, you can see that it's using all lowercase letters, all uppercase letters, digits, and special characters. And if we wanted to, we could even change the length to something like 50, and it would still work. The last thing we're going to create today is this effect where the text falls into place letter by letter. But in order to do this, we need to start with a slightly different approach. So first, we're going to go to our 3D view, add in our text, Shift A text, and then we are going to edit it in our 3D view. So hit tab to go into edit mode and type a bunch of random words. And then to make things easier later on, I'm going to go over to our text settings in our properties panel, go down to horizontal alignment and click center. Now in our 3D view, I'm going to go over to the tools panel, find the animation nodes tab, abbreviated AN, and under initial transforms, I'm going to click from current transformation. If this isn't here, go ahead and click new, add it, just name it whatever you want and hit OK, and then add initial transformations. But what this is doing is it's setting the initial position of our text object. This will be helpful later on, and you'll see why. Now go into animation nodes, and with an empty node tree, we're going to hit shift A, go to text, object, separate, and I drop our text object. Make sure origin is set to center of mass and the type is set to mesh and we are going to click update. Now what this has done is it's hidden our original text object and instead created an individual text object for each letter in our string and it is now outputting that as an object list. So let's go ahead and move some of these around. So drag that over and hit shift A, go to object, matrix output and plug the text object list into the matrix output. Now you can see we ran into a problem where all of our positions have been reset to zero. But thankfully, we've thought of this and we have saved the initial transformations. So in order to recall these, I'm going to hit Shift A, go to Object, ID Key, plug the text object into the input, and under ID Key, I'm going to click Initial Transforms. And now if I plug the matrices into the matrix output, you can see all the letters go right back to where they were. Now we are going to add an offset matrix, so Shift A, matrix offset and go ahead and drop that in for this effect we are going to enable the location and the scale and i'm going to set the y translation to something like three and the scale to zero and now if i slide this fall off slider up and down you can see all the letters just kind of appear and fall into place but let's add a little bit more control to this so I'm going to use the object controller fall off and in order to do this i need an object in our 3d view to act as the controller so at Shift A in our 3D view, I'm going to go down to Empty and add in a single arrow and move that down just a bit. Now I'm going to at Shift A, go to Fall Off, Object Controller, select our arrow, I drop that in, and change the type from Sphere to Directional, and go ahead and plug the Fall Off into our offset matrices. And now everything disappears, but that is because we need to rotate it on the Y axis negative 90 degrees. And now all I have to do is animate this arrow and we have our finished effect. As promised, I'm gonna leave you today with a challenge and that is to simply recreate the animation you see on screen where the text is constantly jumbled and letter by letter the hidden phrase is revealed. You can submit your finished animation through a link in the comments below or through Twitter for a chance to be featured at the beginning of the next video where I go over the way I did it. Remember to have fun with it. Adding an extra flair is always appreciated. I look forward to seeing all your submissions and hope you enjoyed this video. 
This channel is helped by my supporters on Patreon, so if you'd like to help me continue to make content, check out my Patreon link at the end of this video or in the link in the description below. As always, see you next time.